Opened in 2019, Athens' first five-star ecological hotel hasn't forgotten the first rule of its line of business, location. It offers a clear view of the Acropolis, just as clear as its design, including lots of wood. Even from the outside, the BC Athens Hotel makes a statement for sustainability. Hotel owner Paul F. Morphides has made it his mission to place greater value on nature, and he'd like to teach his guests to do the same. We ban plastic completely, and now we implement that plastic is not allowed even to come but whatever means inside the hotel. It is difficult because you go to the privacy of our clients, but um, at least we say to people, uh, please take care of the environment. Of course, it all starts with the beds. They're made of all natural materials. Most of the soaps and shampoos come from bamboo or gourd dispensers. The fitness equipment in the spa section was specifically built for the hotel, all from wood, of course. And it will also wash your laundry as you work out. Over 200 kilometers west of Athens on the southern Greek peninsula, the Peloponnese, a local shipping magnet has fulfilled a dream by opening two sustainable five-star hotels with several bungalows right on the coast. It's an ecological dream. This resort is well integrated in nature, so uh, it's not like having the hotel and the nature, the one next to the other, everything's together, so we cannot even see the buildings. It's so well integrated in trees. Only a small part of the 1,100 hectares has been developed. The golf course has kept its original olive trees. None were felled, but several thousand were transplanted. Both the trees and the golf course need plenty of water. It comes from a vast reservoir, all carefully planned by scientists. The stored water also benefits local farmers. It's an artificial lake that collects water from the local river and uh, uses approximately 1% of its total runoff to irrigate the golf courses. It's an example of uh, a sustainable infrastructure because through this water tank, uh, we're able to irrigate the golf courses without using any groundwater. Environmental protection takes high priority at the Costa Navarino Resort. Towards the southwest of the Peloponnese, loggerhead sea turtles come ashore to lay their eggs. The beach is closed at 7 p.m., so they won't be disturbed at night. School classes from all over Greece visit a multimedia exhibit here that explains the vast diversity of the region's flora and fauna. We have seals, we have um, sea turtles, uh, all, and we have whales, of course, and dolphins, a little bit further outside Castanavarino, and all these are under protection, and even the smallest creature, we try to leave it be. <laughs> One of Greece's smallest and most unusual ecological resorts can be found on Seraphos, one of the Cyclades Islands. Architect George Sarifiu has converted the ruins of a former mining settlement from 1910 into a hotel complex. First, he conducted research to see how the buildings originally looked and what materials were used. I was trying to find the um, local workers who know better than us uh, the island. They knew about the winter, they knew about the uh, summer, about the winter, the rain. So uh, it was an experience of many generations there. So we have to look at them and to have a new look on the traditional Greek traditional uh, architecture. Every room is designed individually. Here, the cliffside is actually integrated into the room. The rock goes down to the bedroom. And it's so impressive to wake up and look on that. Visitors here aren't looking for luxury so much as unique surroundings. We like the fact that it had the history of the minery and that they kept the houses just the way they were. And the fact that they all used all these natural materials, which makes it very trendy as well, but in a very casual way. Greece now offers many ways and places to take a sustainable trip in style. <laughs>